In the following video, I will show you how to answer January 2008 question 7 of the OCR Core 4 Maths A level paper. It's another question on the calculus of trigonometric functions. Let's take a look. Okay, straight away, it tells you that the following identity holds true. It says that some number A times sine theta plus cos theta plus some number B multiplied by cos theta minus sine theta is identical to 4 sine theta. And it asks you to find A and B. Okay, we have a simple um, identity uh, here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use... Um, I'm going to expand out the brackets to start with with part one. So with part one, we're going to compare the left-hand side. So I'm going to write out the left-hand side. We're going to compare it to the right-hand side. The left-hand side, expanded out, is a sine theta, okay, plus b a cos theta, plus b cos theta, minus b sine theta. Okay, and taking how many sine thetas we've got, well, how many sine thetas do we have? Sine theta, factorizing sine theta from here and th here, we've got a minus b lots of sine theta, and factorizing cos theta from these two, how many cos thetas have we got? We've got a plus b cos thetas. Okay, and that's the left-hand side. Now, on the right-hand side, Okay, we know that, that this whole thing is also identical to 4 sine theta. Okay, so that tells us, okay, the number on the left-hand side in front of the sine theta, i.e. a minus b, must be 4, and the number in front of the cos theta, i.e. a plus b, must be 0. There are no cos thetas. So from these two, we can say that a minus b must equal 4, and we can also say that a plus b must equal zero. Two simultaneous equations, two unknowns. You could probably spot the answer very, very easily, but just to make it mathematical, I would add equations one and two. So to eliminate the b's, I would get 2a is 4, so a is 2. Substituting back into either equation, you would simply get that b is negative 2. So finding the values of a and b, a is equal to 2, and b is equal to negative 2. Okay, moving on to the second part, slightly more involved. It says hence, key word, hence. Hence means using what you've done above. Find the exact value of this integral and make sure you give your answer in the form some number lots of pi subtract lun of a number b. Okay, look at that. How is that linked to this at all? Well, what we could say is the top here, we know the top, 4 sine theta, can be written in that form there, where a is the number 2 we've already found, and b is the number negative 2. So if I want, if I call this integral, let's say, i, I could also say that i was equal to the following. Replacing 4 sine theta with what we found earlier on, I would say that this is the same as 2, because a was 2, sine theta plus cos theta, Okay, and then minus 2, cos theta minus sine theta. So this was all an integral between 0 and pi by 4, don't forget. And all of that divided by sine theta plus cos theta, so sine theta plus cos theta d theta. So all we've done with this integral is replace the top by what we've done in question 1. How does that help us? Well, I've got two terms subtracting each other on the numerator. I can divide them both by the denominator. I would therefore be the integral between 0 and pi by 4. Well, 2 sine theta plus cos theta divided by sine theta plus cos theta is simply 2. You can think of it the sine theta sort of cancel in that way. And then the other side we would simply still have minus 2 cos theta minus sine theta over sine theta plus cos theta. Now, at this point here, um, things are looking a bit better.
because this is integrable, you know the integral of this with respect to theta, and this actually is, if you have a little think, is the top the differential of the bottom? Remember when you're looking for uh, integrals that are of a lun form, the top has to be the differential of the bottom. Well, is it? Well, cos theta is certainly uh, the differential of sine theta, and minus sine theta is certainly the differential of cos theta. So actually, this is of a lun form. So this integral here, and also, what should have pointed you out to that? If you remember how they showed you to work it out in the question, a lun was going on, that would help you think, right, I need to get a lun involved here in this integral. So if I integrate 2, I get 2 theta, because I'm integrating with respect to theta. And if I integrate this, I get 2, I get minus 2, ln of the denominator. So ln of sine theta plus cos theta. And all of that is evaluated between 0 and pi by 4. Now it's just a numbers game. I need to substitute in uh, my pi by 4 and my 0. So I've just taken that to the next page just to make this uh, uh, slightly easier. So this integral, therefore, substituting pi by 4 in here, I'll get pi by 2, subtract 2, ln. If I put pi by 4 into um, into sine theta, I get uh, root 2 over 2. And if I put it into cos theta, I get root 2 over 2. So all in all, I get ln root 2. And I put in 0, I subtract the answer when I put in 0. If I put in 0 here, I get 0. If I put in 0 to sine, I get 0. If I put in 0 here, I get 1. Lun 1 is 0. So all of this is 0. And I simply get the answer pi over 2 minus 2 ln root 2. Am I done? Well, look in the, uh, the original question said it wants it in the form a certain number of pi's. Well, I've nearly got that. I've got a half pi. Pi by 2 is a half pi, minus ln b. There's no number here, so I need to bring up the 2 using my ln rules, and it would square the root 2. So this would simply give me minus ln of 2. So the answer to this uh, integral in the end was a half pi minus ln 2. I hope you found the following useful in your revision for core 4. Thank you for watching and listening.